Well, I'm our facts of Mars. I'm not going to let this one go. Were Vikings Muslim new research finds all woven into burial clothes? The name of the idiot writing, writing this article is Tom Herbert. Uh, Mr. Herbert, sir, I got some news for you. We did a little reading on this. Arabic characters appear on woven bands of silk and burial costumes found in Viking Age Boat Graves picture Annika Larson. Fascinating new research has suggested that Vikings could have been Muslim after archaeologists found the word Allah woven into the burial clothes. Investigation to funeral clothes which dates back to the 9th and 10th centuries as shed some new light on the relationship between the two worlds. Expert found, experts found the patterns woven in the garments excavated in Sweden, all the words Allah and Ali for the discovery raising questions about the influence of Islam on Scandinavia. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Herbert, sir. Do you know what the dominant religion was <laughs> up there? I don't even know what you call the religion itself, but it's, uh, mainly there was some guy named Odin. Some big god named Odin. And Thor was his son. So it was Loki, if I'm remembering the uh, mythology. Textile archaeologist Annika Larson of Upsala University told the BBC the material came from Central Asia, Persia, and China. She said tiny geometric designs and clothes not Scandinavian patterns at all, but instead ancient Arabic Catholic script. The possibility that some of these moles in the graves were Muslim would not be completely ruled out, is what she said. We know from other Viking tomb excavations that some of the people buried them in originally from places like Persia, where Islam was very dominant. Now, here's the logic of an idiot liberal. This idiot liberal is saying, well, since they bought the clothes from elsewhere, they must have worshipped Allah. They must have been Muslim. No, they weren't Muslim. Uh, I don't even know what the name of the religion they uh, worshipped is. The Odin guy, we'll uh, take a look here. Uh, Mr. Herbert, sir, all you need to do is go on Wikipedia and look up Odin, and you uh, get an idea of what these people actually worshipped. It's a big long, it's a big long thing. It's I don't even remember a lot of it. I've studied it a little bit, but I'm not really all that interested. Not living, not interested in going to Asgard. I'm not li interested in worshiping Mo uh, Odin or Loki or Thor or whatever. They can all go back to Asgard where they belong. But here's the uh, whole thing. So, we'll go back to the article. Oh, uh, where is it? Yeah, here it is. This is just ridiculous. Mr. Herbert, sir, I can't suggest you do a little research. Because, like I said, they worship this North Norse mythology religion and doesn't even have a name really. That's who they worshipped. I'm an agnostic, I can care less. Let me ask you something, uh, Mr. Herbert, sir. 
Now, I'm sure at one point or another I bought uh, clothes from Japan. Does that make me a Shinto? No, I'm an agnostic. Duh. Unbelievable. I'm artifacts of Mars. These liberals get kookier all the time. Thanks for watching.